it's important for us to try to understand the cause of joy in our life. For most of us, joy is dependent on freedom from pain, from suffering. It's a joy that is so much connected with pleasure. Yet Christian joy is not really about being freed from pain and from suffering. That's why Christian joy elevates us to a deeper level of the true meaning of joy. Christian joy entails suffering. Because if you think that joy is connected with freedom from suffering and pain, that kind of joy is actually a very self-centered joy. It is about oneself. It is about some material, sensual joy. But is this the joy of the human heart? Christian joy, in Jesus' understanding, has nothing to do about physical suffering. That is why the apostles, they suffered much and they are full of joy. So suffering is not actually an obstacle to joy. In fact, it can be a cause of joy. You see, the pain that Jesus spoke about is intense, very intense, but brief. And actually, he was referring to his passion, death and resurrection. The three days, uh, that one day or so when he was uh, put to death, that was intense pain, but brief. After his death, resurrection, new life, again filled with joy. See, he gives birth to new life. It is so beautiful. And so the moment when we experience the joy of our suffering, all the sorrows completely forgotten. All the pain all forgotten. And so uh, when we are talking about Christian joy, what is the basis of Christian joy? It's not just the resurrection. Joy is based on this Christian hope of intense relationship. Because at the end of the day, what makes us happy is beautiful relationship. All the other things can help, but they are actually secondary. It is beautiful, meaningful relationship. It's this intense relationship with the Lord that comes with the Holy Spirit after the resurrection of Jesus that actually gave the disciples great joy. That's why even when they were suffering, they were still very joyful because they were conscious of this presence of the Lord in their life, in the Holy Spirit. So I think sometimes we go through sufferings and we feel extremely uh, weighed down and perhaps we are not in contact with the Holy Spirit. We are not really united with Jesus in the Holy Spirit. So we don't feel His presence. That's why sometimes though, even people who tell us, you know, I'm with you, I support you, that gives us courage. So it's a kind of a, a new relationship, a relationship that is intense, that gives us great joy. That is why we don't mind going through difficulties in life if we know that there is someone backing us up. That is why again the disciples will feel joy because it is not just a renewed relationship, but this is a secure and permanently shall. I will be with you because the Holy Spirit will be with you until the end of time. And so the relationship is so real and it's so secure. Human beings are weak. We are very insecure even with human relationship. That's why we need tons of affirmation. This is where the insecurity comes. But for Jesus, the relationship is assured, secure. And not only that, there is also the final relationship. The Christian hope is basically built on the fact that at the end of time, we will be one with Him we will see God face to face because we will be transfigured like our Lord. That's why Christians, those who really have encountered Jesus, they're not afraid to suffer. So I think the question for Christian joy is how much are we conscious of Jesus' presence in our life to help us to sustain ourselves in times of trouble? If you have no relationship with the Lord, then of course we get into depression very quickly. But if you know the Lord is there, just like Jesus told St. Paul, I will be with you. You can go through. And hopefully with the Lord's presence also, can be helped also of course by human beings as well, uh, assuring each other that the Lord is with us.